Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been posting a couple of videos regarding a feature that Microsoft is working on in Edge Canary, which is a preview version, where they have started testing a new translate button that appears when you hover over a video that obviously is in a foreign language. And the previous video, which I'll leave down below, is where we had a look at the new combo box where you can choose four different languages. Now go check that video out if you want to just obviously play catch up. But just to let you know that once again, um, Microsoft now is further in their progress on this uh, new translate menu and feature. And this is just a gift provided by Leo over on X because I haven't received this for some strange reason yet in my region. So the dialogue with options to translate videos now has changed in Edge Canary 122, which is the latest preview version. And over and above the combo box to choose the translation language, as we can see, um, there is now another combo box to show and choose the language from which the video will be translated. So there we go. You click on that little translate button. You can turn that off and you've got a whole lot of different uh, options available for you there. And that's the translation in progress, generating subtitles in your preferred language. And obviously that takes a second or two to complete. And there we go. So just to watch that one more time, you hover over the video. There's the translate button. Click on that. And there's the new kind of combo box where you can now choose your uh, four different languages. And you've got that option now to translate to. So that's a bit of an upgrade from the previous uh, dialogue that Microsoft was testing. And this is just a close up of the new uh, combo box to choose your translation language. And here's a comparison between the old dialogue, this is how it looked, and here we can see the new dialogue. So the left one's the old, the right one's the new, and you can see, um, I actually think that is a nice move in the right direction, especially if obviously you are prone to watch a lot of foreign language YouTube videos, as an example, this could be of benefit in the future. Now, this is not available in the stable version, and like most of these features, I'll keep you posted and keep a close eye on this one, and obviously when this does roll out to stable, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.